Hi everyone, my name is Raham Khan and I am a business analyst with the NCDB. And today we will be talking about how to demonstrate and navigate the NCDB web tools. The tools for this year comprise of the following, the hospital comparison benchmark reports, survival reports, rapid cancer reporting system, cancer quality improvement program, completeness report, site-by-stage distribution reports, and the participant user files. Before diving into the tools, some background information about the NCDB. The Nationally Recognized National Cancer Database, or the NCDB, is jointly sponsored by the American College of Surgeons and the American Cancer Society. It is a clinical oncology database sourced from hospital registry data that are collected from approximately 1,500 Commission on Cancer accredited facilities. NCDB data are used to analyze and track patients with malignant neoplastic diseases, their treatments, and outcomes. Data represent more than 72% of newly diagnosed cancer cases nationwide and more than 42 million historical records. Through comparison and evaluation, you can use these tools proactively to improve delivery and quality of care for cancer patients in your community and cancer facility. You can track and analyze data on all types of cancer to explore trends in cancer care, review benchmarks for COC accredited facilities, evaluate and compare the cancer care delivered to patients diagnosed and or treated at your facility with accredited facilities at the state, regional, and national levels, determine patients lost from or refer to your cancer facility. You can provide community assessment Identify potential areas of outreach and areas for population screening for cancers by site, age group, and race and ethnicity. Develop treatment practices to meet community needs. Develop cancer prevention programs based on the community needs. Provide information to address state cancer plan requests. Provide quality improvement. Identify survival rates by SAGE and disease site. Assess past performance rates on quality measures. Enhance coordination of care and completeness of data through the use of actionable alerts of anticipated adjuvant therapies. Demonstrate accountable evidence-based care. Identify areas to focus quality improvement efforts. So how do you access the web tools? They can be accessed through COC data links with your username and password at datalinks.facs.org. The first tool we will cover is the NCDB Hospital Comparison Benchmark Reports, also known as the 8CBR. The purpose of this application is to provide end users with descriptive reports for many types of cancers diagnosed within the last 10 years captured in the NCDB. These reports include summaries on patient demographics, treatment, and stage, which can be queried for your facility, as well as all COC accredited facilities at the state, regional, or national level. STAGE is based on NCDB's BEST STAGE, which represents a combination of American Joint Committee on Cancer's pathologic stage over clinical stage. To run this report, select from the following options and then click Submit. Select View My Hospital Only Aggregate Report or Comparison Report. For Aggregation and Comparison View, you can select all facilities or select facility by FIN, name, city, and or state. Restricted diagnosis year and primary site of interest. Choose class of case to define the patient cohort for diagnosis and treatment. Determine which analysis variables and select up to three. No, only select one for comparison report. Here is an example output. You can see the data is grouped by the selections you make, which are listed in the title bar at the top of the report. You have the option to show a chart, table, or export into a PDF or PowerPoint to use for a presentation. The output is the same data from the previous slide shown here in table format. The first column groups the number of cases by age group, followed by stage, and then totals. We will now move on to the next web tool, the NCDB Survival Reports. This application calculates overall and unadjusted observed survival rates stratified by AJCC stage, sex, age, group, or comorbidity score for all cancer sites. To run, once you have accessed the report through data links, you will be taken to a home screen that looks like this. Here, you can walk through the steps using navigation arrows in the bottom left of the screen to run the report. 
to select a certain facility, uncheck the box that says all NCDB cases. From there, you can filter using the text box or sort through the list to find your facility. Check the boxes for disease site or sites of interest. One or more multiple sites can be selected. Select the diagnosis years group based on which our corresponding AJCC edition, select sequence number of interest, select age of interest, select reference date of interest, select stratification variable, and click on the blue generate button to run the report based on the selections made. Here's an example of a survival report generated. The percent survival over the years is displayed in, by stage in chart and table form. The table further breaks down the percentages by year at the bottom. In the figure, hover over the survival curves to confirm label colors and exact values within the figure. You can remove stage groups from the survival curve in the figure by clicking on that stage group back in the label. To add the survival curve back into the figure, reselect the stage group. The next web tool we will be covering is the NCDB Rapid Cancer Reporting System, also known as RCRS. This application launched in September of 2020 and is the source of both historical and real-time data used to assess quality measure performance. The RCRS platform can be accessed at acsdataplatform.com slash login. Once you've logged in, you can use the left navigation panel to access the following. The dashboard has a homepage. This provides a general overview of some of the main reports and a brief highlight of the quality measure performance data. The section labeled platform has notifications which highlights new library resources or downtime in RCRS. And finally, analytics, which houses the reports. The default homepage where you log in will be the dashboard. The dashboard allows you to review different areas of the measures. These areas include COC accreditation measures for surveyors, alert summary, notifications, and quality measured comparisons. Please note these sections are not interactive and are there to provide an overall bird's eye view on various quality measures. The navigation menu will always be located on the left side of the page, regardless of where you have navigated in the system. You can collapse the navigation menu to maximize usable space while working on the platform by selecting the three lines icon located at the top and to the right of the NCDB logo. If you would like to expand any of the quadrants, you can hover over the title of the quadrant and two arrows pointing away from each other will appear. Click on the arrows and you have an expanded view. You also have the option to navigate across all panels in the expanded view by clicking on the left or right arrow. For example, in the quality measures comparison on your bottom right, you can see the legend that represents the colors of the bar. If you click on the legend icon, the legend will disappear. Please note these functionalities are common across all reports and you can use them per section within a report. Now we will move on to the actual reports in the RCRS platform. Once you log in from the navigation menu, choose operational reports or go to the reports on the top right hand corner of the dashboard as I am showing here and click on alerts report. Once you have accessed the alerts report, it will load blank. To load the report, under filter on the left side of the page, select at least one or multiple diagnosis years and measures, and the data will populate in the two quadrants, alert summary and alert summary by. Alert summary by primary site is the default view, and you can change this by clicking on the summary panel on the left and selecting one of the options in the drop-down menu under view by. The table view will display data as per the selection, and the header will change displaying the selected view by option. For example, this view shows alert summary by a session number. The user can view each case for measures associated with the case and summary of the measure rating. Totals for all alerts will be listed as well. By clicking on one of the tiles, you can see that the corresponding cell to that tile and the alert summary by panel has been highlighted, and the case level data for that specific alert has now populated in the case list quadrant. This tile shows that there are 30 cases with critical alerts. The timeline for these alert statuses is based on a certain number of days until expected administration of non-surgical therapy. Breakdown of each status and the number of days can be found in the RCRS user guide. As a note, this screen also displays the number of days until cases lapse into measure non-concordance. Cases that lapse into non-concordance will remain posted on the alert screen for 120 days to ensure sufficient opportunity 
for programs to review the status and coordination of the patient's care. All the information displayed on the screen is updated nightly. To review the details of a case, click on the hyperlink located on the same line as the case chosen from the caseless quartile. The hyperlink will open in another tab. When you expand the case list, you will see information for each case, including alert message, a session number, sequence number, primary site, measure, days remaining for specific measure, abstracted by, date case last updated, alert status, notes, detail hyperlink, and treatment summary hyperlink. To view the treatment summary, which provides a bird eye view of the treatment detail in the caseless quartile, scroll to the right and click on the treatment summary hyperlink. Here you can view the details of a case with the hyperlink opening in another tab. Detail on the individual case will be listed vertically. You can scroll up and down to view the entire case. The data can be exported to PDF or Excel by right-clicking in the field and choosing the format to view. To return to the prior page, either click on the tab titled Alerts Report or close the tab by clicking on the X. Similarly, the treatment summary hyperlink can be opened to provide a bird's eye view of the treatment detail. The information will populate for the case chosen. There are scroll bars located throughout the document that scroll up and down for more data viewing. You can ID the case, view patient and tumor characteristics, specific AJCC clinical and pathological stage groupings, as well as a treatment summary. We will now move on to the next report in RCRS, the Quality Measures Report. The Quality Measure Report provides the last six years of detailed quality measure performance information. Most of the functionality is the same as with the alerts report, but there are a few more visualization options to choose from. Remember that the report will load blank. The columns of data can be dragged to minimize or maximize. Go to the summary panel and select one or more multiple measures that you are interested in. The report will then load. You will notice the expand button next to the measures, which will let you filter the measures being displayed by sites. You may select or deselect specific measures by clicking on the box for each site or measures. As mentioned earlier, as soon as you select your measures, your diagnosis year will be available for selection right underneath the measure, measure selection. This allows you to select all or specific diagnosis years. The default display of this report is a table view. We have the primary site and the measure group for that primary site and the measure description. In the label column, you will see the performance rate, expected performance rate, confidence interval, as well as the benchmarks. Regarding the performance rate, you will notice different shades of green and red. Darker shades of green or red represent the performance rate of older data where the cases have been locked. No additional changes will be performed there. Lighter shades of green or red represent estimated performance rate where cases are still open and could possibly change when new information is submitted. If your upper bound confidence interval is greater than the benchmark, the color will be darker green. Red represents that the upper bound confidence interval is lower than the benchmark. Gray represents no data available for that particular year for the measure selected. If you click on the EPR, data will populate and measure eligibility by case count and provide a breakdown. From there, if you click on one bar in the case count, the case list will populate the cases associated with your selection. This case list can be expanded using the arrow keys in the top right corner as with other reports. We will now look at the comparisons report in RCRS. This report will provide a comparison between your program compared to other peer programs such as state registry, region, or cancer program category. As with other reports, the comparisons report will load blank by default. Under summary view, you have the option to view performance rate comparisons as a table, line chart, or a bar chart. In the performance rate by section, you will see a breakdown of strata value of the performance data point you selected in the left section. The default view is by age. To change the strata value, go to filters and make a selection under stratification. Also, please note details with case counts, the bottom right section will automatically populate as per the selected stratification. You will see the filters with stratification on the next slide, as well as the details with case counts. Under filters and graph comparisons as, there's an option to move the top right section as a caterpillar graph. This graph will automatically change as per the selection made in the left section of the report. The caterpillar view is providing the performance rate by ranking and your facility is always marked in blue. 
If you hover over it, it will provide your performance rate and the diagnosis year related to what you have selected on the left panel. Stratification is not available in the Caterpillar view because in this view, we're really looking at the overall performance across all comparison categories available. If you change filter to bar chart, then your stratification option will display. In this panel, you can see the details with case counts by age, providing a breakdown by the stratification group selected by age of diagnosis, performance rate, number of distinct cases, and the confidence interval. Data is grouped per the selected measure. If you're in your own facility, you will see your facility FIN number displayed along with your confidence interval. You can control what is displayed here by selecting or deselecting your options under summary panel and filter on your left. You will see more columns added based on the selections that you have made. The next web tool we will be reviewing is the Cancer Quality Improvement Program, also known as CEQIP. This PowerPoint report is issued annually and summarizes data from the 8 CBR NCDB survival reports and the RCRS. It also includes operative mortality and risk adjusted survival reports. Each COC accredited facility receives a report that can be used to conduct a retrospective review of the services provided. This information enables facilities to develop plans and programs to ensure that their cancer facility offers high quality patient centered cancer services to prevent screen, diagnose, treat, and monitor the population served. Like the other tools, this report may be accessed from the password protected COC data links portal. The 2020 release provides COC accredited facilities with data on compliance with COC adopted quality measures, volume data for complex surgical oncology operations with 30 day and 90 day mortality, unadjusted and risk adjusted survival data for selected cancer sites, other clinical data and administrative data, which will be updated and expanded annually. In order to access the CEQIT report, log into COC data links, select the facility of interest. After selecting the facility, you are brought to a COC staff activity menu. Look for the section NCDB and select the link CEQIT reports. Next up is the NCDB completeness and default overuse reports. This application provides feedback to COC accredited facilities about submission of missing, unknown, or nonspecific information for NCDB required data items. The most recent diagnosis year is included in this report. Long term follow up is evaluated for the most recent diagnosis year minus five years. There are two report types available. All sites include nine reports. These reports can be analyzed independently or all together, depending on the tab viewed. The report rows or registry items will change accordingly with the tab of data selected. However, the columns will remain consistent. The report columns are as follows. Registry item, subset, subset description, nature number, code evaluated, benchmark, hospital percent, number, and message. Please review this slide for details for each of the report columns. In this example, the registry items under the other treatment tab, Rx summary and chemotherapy at this facility show that this facility's level of missing data, non-specificity or incompleteness is less than that of the benchmark and thus not a concern. However, for data first course treatment, this facility's percent is above the benchmark and should signal to the facility that they should reevaluate their submission of data first course treatment and see why the full data first treatment or decision not to treat is not consistently recorded, and then update those cases accordingly. The next web tool is a site-by-stage distribution reports. This application enables facilities to obtain an overview of the number of cases by primary site and subsites, as well as primary site-by-stage. Case level details are also provided for each primary site and stage. To run the report, first select the facility of interest. In the left panel, titled Cancer Site, select the main grouping with disease site. In the main table, which consists of each subprimary site by stage, select the cell in which you want to look for more specific details. Here is an example output once the report has been generated. You can see the total number of cases for that primary site in the top left corner. This is then broken down into subsites with a count for each stage, followed by totals in the last row. Some general report tips. At the bottom of the left 
of the page is a link for NCDB primary site histology groupings, which defines the primary site codes and histology associated with each primary site. Case level details can only be viewed within the live application. They cannot be viewed in exports. The primary site and subsites counts by stage can be exported as HTML, PDF, or Excel. Finally, the last NCDB web tool we will be covering is the participant user files, also known as the PUF. The PUF is a source of data that allows the researchers at COC accredited facilities to review and improve the quality of care delivered to cancer patients through analyses of cases reported to the NCDB. This HIPAA compliant data file contains de-identified patient level data that do not identify facilities, healthcare providers, or patients as agreed to in the business associate agreement that each COC accredited facility signs with the American College of Surgeons. The NCDB extends investigators at COC accredited facilities an opportunity to apply for a PUF year round. Researchers interested in utilizing NCDB PUF data should visit and review the contents on the PUF website. The PUF website includes all information needed on how to complete an application, access the application, how to download the data and the data dictionary, as well as some additional resources to understand the data and how to use it. But the PUF can be accessed at the hyperlink displayed on the side. Look for that section, Administrative, and select the link Application. This will then direct users to the PUF application website to log in. For additional resources, please see the following links. This concludes the NCDB Web Tools webinar.